Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a nature read for May 1st, 2020. Yes, sirree, Bob. This is a number one day. Um, it's a very nice day out today. And yes, the picture you see that uh, might have grabbed your attention in the video, that's uh, my garden. I took a picture of my garden for you guys. Yes, that's me in the background. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I was watering my plants and I thought, you know what, why don't I just do a nature read, okay? So I have chosen some cards here. I do have some oracles that we will go over at the end, okay? And uh, yeah, I guess we can just take it from there, right? I will be using a Lenormand deck. I'll be putting out a nine card spread and I will go ahead and clarify with the um, a set of poker playing cards. I think uh, these are called Mavericks. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started with that nature read. We're looking for nine card spread, right? Let me get nine cards here. I might just actually um, pull these cards for you. Just want to make sure I get a nice shuffle. I did pre shuffle these, but you know. So I'm going to be pulling nine cards, right? I'm going to be pulling nine cards from this little Norman deck. And we're going to find out what's going on for the nature read for uh, May 1st, 2020, number one day, right? New beginnings. All right, so the next cards that come out are going to be the nine cards that we get. <clears throat> Here we go, you guys. This is it. Actually, uh, yeah, no, this is it. One. Are they upside down? Yes, they are. Sorry about, about that, you guys. One. Okay. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And nine. All right. We have 36 at the bottom of the deck, okay? Didn't take a general energy of this, but that's what's at the bottom of the deck, okay? We'll go ahead and go over that in a minute. Let's go ahead and get started. Oops, with the cards here. Oops, why do I keep doing that? Okay, those are our first three cards. We have the 25, 33, and the 19. Um, Ace of uh, Ace of uh, Wands, Eight of Pentacles, and Six of Wands, uh, Six of Swords. We also have the 22 card, Queen of uh, Pentacles, 12 card. Seven of Pentacles, three card, ten of swords, sixteen card, six of cups, one card, nine of cups, and um, the five card, seven of cups. All right. Okay, so first off, we have the 25 card. It appears that there's two people coming into union, perhaps, maybe a new uh, beginning, right? Two people joining in some sort of agreement, right? Uh, this is very passionate. These two are very passionate, okay? We also have the number 33 card. 33 is a uh, master number, right? Eight of Pentacles, somebody working on something, or somebody has a key to work on something. Somebody has all the keys, knowledge, whatever they need to know to move forward, okay? Um, and they're going to possibly use this, or Spirit is telling you that you need to use this, all right? <laughs> all right. Oh, let me take my hands off there. I'm shaking the table over. All right, so we also have the 19 card, and this is a fortress, right? Somebody is... Uh, uh, hiding or in their fortress, right? They're they're not uh, they're going within, they're trying to keep their whatever they have uh, safe right now, right? They're keeping whatever they have protected, right? But they also um, are wanting to move towards something that's more um, tangible in their life, right? They might be uh, feeling trapped right now in a situation and wanting to get out of it. Um, I'm not sure. No, let's grab the book. Let's see if we can get some insight on the these three cards, All right? So we have the 25 card. This card is called the ring. Wow. So agreement, commitment, engagement, partnership, contract, marriage. So yeah, two people coming together wanting to start new, right? Um, exactly what I said pretty much. And now we have the 33 card. Uh, what was that one about? 
I just want to make sure. I'm doing these intuitively, but, you know, I'm going to go ahead and check the book because I just want to make sure, you know. Key, certainty, solution, mastery, significance, breakthrough, discovery, revelation, epiphany, inspiration, insight, clues, signs, security, synchronicity, problem solving, inner values, and success. Right. So somebody does have what whatever they need to find success here, right? And some also added to that um, with whatever I said was somebody's going to be getting an epiphany. They're going to come to realization about something, right? They're going to start understanding things. So somebody might go within and they might find the key that they need to figure out what is true, right, and what is not. So maybe this person has been misled. I don't know, but uh, that's what we have here. Now we also have Hill Fort Tower. We have authority, hierarchy, institution. Okay, so somebody could be involved in some, but something. Some, but somebody could actually be in jail or in the military. Um, somebody could have some sort of status or a really big ego here, right? But um, <clears throat> this person is basically alone right now, right? Isolated, right? Um, somebody might also. Um, Somebody might be isolating themselves because they're trying to find truth, and that's where that 33 card can come in, you know, trying to find truth in a situation. A situation that involves that ring card, just coming together, having some sort of union or marriage with another individual, right? Let's go ahead and clarify the 25 card. Let's see if we can get a couple cards for that. Just to let us know what's going on here, right? What is, uh, you know, what is going on with that 25 card, the ring? Why is the ring card there? Why is the ring card there? Well, we have the Queen of uh, Wands, all right? Could be dealing with a fire sign. And this person is somebody from the past. And I just saw that card, too, before I started here, you know. So, yeah, that's why the ring card is here. Uh, somebody wants to come into union with the Queen of Wands, right? This is somebody from the past. All right, why is this uh, key, key card here? Why is this key card here? Why is this key card here? Why is this key card here? Why is the key card here? Why is the key card here? Sorry, you guys. I just need more space. <clears throat> All right, so we have the key card here. The key card here, you could be a uh, earth sign or be dealing with an earth sign. Right, you might want to work something out with that person. Also, we have the six of uh, wands here. So there's going to be victory in regards to that. So this person from the past could have fire and earth in the chart, right? Or you could be dealing, or somebody here could be dealing with two queens, right? <clears throat> Wanting to start new, a new uh, love with this person, right? Okay, so somebody could be married to a fire sign, somebody that they know from the past. Um, but I do see here that somebody wants to work on something with a... Uh, Queen of uh, Pentacles, right? And they want to have victory with this person with a new start, passionate new start. They're going to come in also with some truth. So whether this start happens for them or not, we don't know yet. Because, you know, the, the Ace of Swords is the truth coming in. Now, this could be somebody saying, okay, I accept your truth. Everything's okay, fine and dandy. Let's start new. Or this could be, oh, my gosh, I'm devastated. I can't be with you anymore. I don't want to be with you anymore. It's over, right? Those are the two options. Why is this 19 card here, the Fortress? Why is the fortress here? Wow, that's way too many cards, you guys. I'm going to put it back, okay? Once again, why is the fortress card here? Why is the fortress card here? We're looking for just a few cards for the fortress card to clarify that. Why is the fortress card here? We also have, that's a number 19 card, which is reduced down to number 10, which is reduced down to a number 1 new beginning, right? Why is the fortress card here? Why is the fortress card here? Who's moving away to who? Is somebody moving out of this fortress? What's going on here? going on with this fortress card? General collective reading, timeless nature read. Fortress card, please. What's, what's the fortress card doing here? Fortress, please. There it is. So somebody's wanting to fight their way uh, maybe out of this, right? Whoa. Somebody might be trying to fight their way out of this fortress, out of this home. Maybe they're not satisfied there. Or maybe they're in trouble. They might be incarcerated, trying to fight their way out of that. Uh, somebody's definitely feeling trapped and caught up, right? Yeah. Um, also, we have the Four of Cups here. So whoever's caught up here wants to place, make an offer to somebody, okay? Somebody might have put them in the situation that they're in now, and they're not feeling those people anymore. No, 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 they sure aren't. 
So that's what's going on so far, okay? <clears throat> Somebody was in a, a relationship, possibly with this Queen of uh, Wands here, right? And, um, you know, there there was a bond there, whatever, but uh, I also see somebody trying to get involved with the Queen of Pentacles and wanting to have victory over that person and a new start with them, okay? So if somebody is two-timing here, that's, what's, that, that's what might be going on here, all right? We also have um, maybe somebody is getting out of a situation that has kept them feeling trapped. This is another thing here, right? And somebody has all the tools they need to move forward in this relationship and be happy and whatever, whatnot. Um, and they're trying to fight their way out of the situation. So somebody might be married trying to fight their way out of a situation because they want to get involved with somebody else, right? Okay. All right, so let's set these cards down for a moment. What did I do here? All right. I'm going to set these cards down for a moment, and we're going to go ahead and find out about these next cards. We have the 22 card, right? This is the Queen of Pentacles here. It's also a um, card... Um, what do you call it? Master number 22, right? Um, so these these cards here, 33 and 22, these are divinely guided cards for me, okay? I'm feeling like uh, spirit has their foot in the door when it comes to these numbers, right? Paths, right? <clears throat> okay, well, as you see, I don't even need the book for that one. I just saw a little ant, got him off my table there. All right, so with this card, we have the 22 card, right? There's two paths. Yes, there are two paths you can go by, but in the long run, you know, that's Stairway to Heaven, that song, you know, at the end. But there's still time to choose the road you're on, okay? That song is really coming in really gnarly right now for me. So somebody's got to make a choice, right? It seems like they might want to move towards this Queen of Pentacles. Um, they're just not knowing which path to take here. Now, one path looks like they have like some mountains or forests that they got to go through. And then one looks like they just, they got some water there. Maybe they got to go across water. Maybe somebody is across the water from you. Okay, there might be separations of water. There could be a separation of uh, mountains, okay? We also have the 12 of owls right now the 12 of owls is we have the seven of pentacles here you know seven of pentacles is watching your um seeds grow seeds of intention but i also see when we got three uh owls here owls are really spiritual uh animals so you could be uh that could be one of your guys spirit animals but i also see let's get the book out here when it comes to more than two people it's like somebody else is getting look it open right to the page birds owls Conversation, verbal communication, perspective, negotiation, phone call, excitement, gossip, chat. Okay, see, what I'm feeling here, somebody does want to communicate. Right? This is front and center. Somebody wants to communicate, but there also is could be some involvement with some gossip, some idle chit-chat that's... Whoa, that was a big old... Uh, I don't know if it was a bumblebee or one of those things that you can tie a string to their foot. Okay, trials of being out in nature, <laughs> guys. Okay, so I do see here that, uh, and you know, this little thing, this little thing flying around was just trying to get through. It can get through. There's an opening, but it's, I think it's confused and it just can't get through. This is uh, maybe something significant to this reading. Somebody might be trying to get through, but they just can't. There's a way through, right? There's a way through to communicate, but for some reason they're not seeing that way, okay? Why? I, you know, I don't know. But there, that is significant here, too. All right. We also have the three card here, and this is signifying travel, definitely. Somebody might want to be traveling across the ocean for you. Somebody is living across the ocean for you, but they want to travel to you. This is the Ten of Swords. Now, the Ten of Swords is, you know, this is not a good card. The Ten of Swords is about um, backstabbing energy, right? But it could also mean the end because that 10 can reduce to a 1. Ace of Swords, maybe truth coming in, and it could be an end of a situation. But let's find out what the card actually means. It means travel, transport, holiday venture, commerce, change, freedom, motorized vehicle journey. Okay, another thing I see here, somebody might be moving. Somebody might be moving in your direction, and somebody might actually be mobile now. Okay, so somebody may have had issues with traveling in the past because they were not mobile. Uh, it appears that they might have gotten through this 10 of Swords energy. Maybe something was keeping them immobile but now they are uh, mobile and they're wanting to move forward and possibly speak the truth to somebody okay so let's find out what this 22 card is here this is um 
The stone this is about finding choices or paths, right? Why is this paths card here? We're looking for this path card. General reading, timeless reading, all signs, and this is a nature read. What is this paths card here? Okay. This is in the upright because I have the cards in the reverse. Sorry, you guys. All right, so there's going to be a message coming in in regards to this paths card. Some somebody's going to send a message out, and they're going to they're going to take the risk and send this message out. Uh, it's a message of emotion. They want to come in and they want to tell you the truth about something. Okay, somebody wants to be telling another person the truth. Right now, this card could end the relationship, or it can just you know be like okay you're telling the truth we're starting a relationship with truth let's start over and so it might be something good it could be something where somebody ends it right why is this owls card here birds owls why is this birds owls card here owls why is it here the birds this is a general reading all signs timeless reading whenever you see it is one meant for you all right so we got two cards out Next, what we have here, we have the Five of Cups. So even though that somebody wants to uh, communicate, they're still feeling a uh, loss over a situation. Maybe that's why they're having trouble communicating because they can't, uh, so the situation may have come to an end, right? The situation may have come to an end and maybe there are people in the background discouraging this person. They're maybe causing a lot of gossip, gossip, making this person believe something's wrong. They don't like you. They don't love you, whatever. But I do see that this person, uh, they do love you and they do want a new start with you. But there's a, an issue here, right? Right? There's an issue with these birds and owls and gossip and endings, you feeling not in your power. Um, you, there is somebody planted some seeds and the seeds are growing. They're nurturing the seeds, kind of like I am nurturing my garden. Come out here and put a little water on them. Somebody is definitely working at this, but somebody's still feeling sad over an, uh, a situation. I'll tell you why. Because of all the gossip. Somebody's in their ear saying, oh, they don't love you. If they loved you, they'd come chasing after you. Whatever, whatever, right? Whatever they're saying, it's making this person feel like they're unloved and there's no chance at a new start. But I'll tell you what, whoever they're dealing with, they want a new start. They're waiting for you to come in. But because so many people are all up in your ear talking shit and you're not making any moves, they're just sitting and waiting. They want a new start. Okay. We're going to go ahead and find out what this number three card is, the boat. Why is this boat card here? Why is this boat card here? These are a general collective nature read. Why is this boat card here? Why is this boat card here? Why is this boat card here? Boat card nature read. Here's first. Well, somebody has some, has made a choice to move forward, to come towards somebody. Why is this boat card here? Why is this boat card here? Anything else? Okay, well, I can only assume that's it and that's all for that. Somebody's definitely made a choice. Uh, they're going to be traveling to another individual, right? So maybe the communication was not good because there was no source of communication. Maybe there was no way somebody could communicate over the airwaves or phone or whatever. Maybe somebody was feeling blocked, whatever, right? But somebody's definitely making the choice and they're making the choice. I'm just going to go to their pad. I'm just going to go find them and I'm going to tell them how I feel. <clears throat> and that's what I'm feeling here with this energy. Um, let's see here. Just want to make sure. All right. So, yeah, that's what's going on for that second row. Okay, very interesting, right, guys? Somebody's definitely coming. They're coming to tell you something, right? They're ending whatever it is they're going through. Um, they have dealt with all the gossip and all the bullshit, but they're definitely coming. They're coming to, to you, all right, whoever this resonates with. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to put these uh, cards to the side here, and we're going to go ahead and find out what that 16 card is. 16 reduced down to a number 7, right? Six cups. This is somebody from the past, you guys. Somebody from the past is uh, trying to figure out how to get to you. Seven. Seven is God's number to me, if you ask me. That's the number of, you know, that's the divine number, right? Um, but we're looking for the number 16 card. Here it is. Let's see. Okay, so we have the number six. Oh, the stars, right? Guidance, technology, metastasis, hope, clarity, ideas, orientation, universe, astrology, signs, goals, spirituality, plans, map, chart, science, vision. Okay, so basically with this card, <clears throat> this person um, is, you know, using astrology. They're figuring out who is their person, right? That's what I'm feeling. Um, they possibly have went and used the astrology to figure out who, you know, the person is, this ring person of theirs you know the fire sign came out so uh, i'm thinking that somebody could be dealing with a fire sign with uh 
maybe earth energy or uh, somebody a fire sign uh, with earth in their chart or we could be dealing with the fire and an earth sign it could be anyways those are the two signs I see that are prominent but I do see that somebody is looking into astrology possibly to find out is this my person maybe they've checked their own uh, astrological chart but um, they are you know they are hopeful in whatever's going on here right things are being illuminated to them um, their spirituality I think is, is changing all right um, yeah that's what I'm feeling okay um, he's using the astrology as a source of guidance okay to figure out who his partner is and he's figuring out that it's somebody from the past okay so he, he's he's trying to find out who his you know like i said who his partner is uh, right now we have the number one card here this is a nine of cups wish fulfillment right this could also uh signify addictions and all that stuff but somebody's coming in really swiftly <clears throat> with a message now this is a male coming into a female with a message now it could be swapped but you know that's the energy i'm getting right here right there's a male writer he's coming in with a message all right now this male writer i would like to say this guy he goes from town to town he sends messages people appreciate him look at that he's got his little harp right there he plays music he probably uh charms the ladies so <clears throat> watch out with this guy in this message because this person who's bringing the message is a player all right he might be a player anyways i don't know but that, this card i know for sure signifies a message coming in and this guy you know he gets along with all the ladies so you gotta watch out for this guy the messenger he's not there to stay he's there to give a message you know what i'm saying now we also have the seven, uh, the five card, seven card. This is a uh, oak tree, I think. And this oak tree, look at that. This tree is rooted. It's been there for a long time. So you could be dealing with somebody who's really stable and rooted. Um, male or female energy, it doesn't matter. Uh, we have the seven of cups here. Somebody has options. And they. I think what they have is they have options on who could they, they could choose as a romantic partner. They basically know who they want. They're trying to break away from a situation. They want to move towards this person who, who is stable, right? They are possibly stable also. But I do see them moving towards somebody who is very stable and secure, right? This person, um, they might have even uh, had them as an option. But um, they are, I, I don't feel like they're an option anymore. And that this person is coming towards this individual. All right. I, yeah, I didn't need to go in the books for those. So let's go ahead and find out. Why is this Why is this 16 card here? Why is this 16 card? This is the Six of Cups, somebody from the past. All right, the Stars. Why is the Stars card there? Why is the Stars card there? Why is the Stars card there? Okay, you guys. So I do see that uh, since the Queen of uh, Wands came out here, she also came out up here. So somebody could be finding out that this Queen of Wands, okay, is their soulmate, right? They could be actually with the Queen of Pentacles right now, trying to get out of that situation, right? Yeah, this person wants to fight for this Queen of Wands, right? Um, this person could want to marry the Queen of Wands could have been married in the past or been with them somehow in the past wants to give them a ring I don't know but they want a new beginning possibly they want to fight one more time for this fire sign Gem uh, Leo Sagittarius Aries um, this person is also really caught up in their head about a situation yeah there was no equal give and take between them and they wanted to start passionately but something happened right but they are noted knowing now shit this is my person why did I do this to the person? And this person was my person. I always loved this person. I just didn't know this was my, 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 my person, right? <laughs> um, why is this, um, I can't take that one. Why is this uh, one card here? The uh, man messenger, right? Man messenger, why is that man messenger here? Oh shit, oh shit, you guys. First off, this guy's bringing in a message of deception. Somebody has deceived him or, you know, somebody has deceived another individual or somebody is coming in uh, to deceive you. But there is deception here, right? It could be you could be dealing with an air sign, king. Male energy doesn't have to be male, male or female, right? But we have the king of uh, um, swords here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody could be dealing with somebody with that sign, okay? Now, uh, there's a message coming in about deception from an air sign, right? 
this person is holding on to something from the past, right? They could be holding on to their money too, because if they're going through something, maybe divorce or separation, somebody could be holding on to their money. But it does appear <clears throat> that this person uh, might be the person uh, looking towards uh, stability, or this could be a stable person right here um, that somebody's holding on to, right? Yeah, because the king is looking at the stability person right here, right? Or maybe this king is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and he's looking at this stable person over here, right? That could be it, too. All right, so that's what I have here. Let's find out what that uh, oak tree is doing there now. Clarify that oak tree for this nature read. Clarify the oak tree for the nature read. Why is that oak tree there? Mm. Somebody who wants to go to this person, they want to offer marriage. Union. Some sort of you know, extension or, or addition or, or just they want to bring the relationship to another level, a higher level of commitment, right? There's also the uh, soulmate card, twin twin card, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, they want to work on things. Somebody wants to come back and work on things with this person, this person who's, uh, you know, uh, has the energy of the oak tree, it's a bit stability, it's stable, right? Let's get this final card and see what that is. Yeah. This person knows now this was not an option. This person, this person was not, there is no competition when it comes to this person because this person is loving and caring and good and stable. And this person does not see this person anymore uh, as having to, you know, they're, they're, they're not in competition with this person. They don't want any, you know, they don't want to bring anybody in the picture to make this other person feel like they are any kind of, comp yeah, there's no more competition. No more having to defend themselves over anything because they're coming with truth and uh, they want, they want marriage and they want to work things out. Okay. <clears throat> wow. That was a really interesting reading, you know. Let me know if that resonates. If it does, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. I would love that. Uh, that's the best thing that a person can do uh, for any type of YouTube person, right? Show some love. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get these up. What we're going to do next is we are going to find out what kind of messages we have from the universe in regards to this. Oh, you guys, you know what? General energy was this Celtic cross. So let's go ahead and find out what that means real quick before we move on. 36 card, 36. Okay, the cross. Burdens, ethics, religion, selfishness, spirituality, pain, distress, suffering, regret, remorse, dogma, faith, charity, mercy. Okay, so that is just a really gnarly card. <laughs> so basically, whoever this story was talking about, about this person, you know, wanting to leave wherever they're at because it sucks there. They want to go towards this person who's the oak tree, blah, blah, blah. Where they're at right now, mm, they are not liking it. They are not happy where they are. They want to get the hell out of there. Okay, it's all burdens and all just bullshit. So that pretty much <laughs> was that card. Thank goodness uh, I didn't look at that in the beginning because we would have been feel, feeling that energy all the way through, right? Well, you know, if it's there, it's there, right? So these cards are also pre-shuffled. I'm going to go ahead. Whoa, whoa. Well, maybe I'm not, okay? I'm having a feeling that this is a card that wants to come out. Yeah, the magician. Holy shit. Guess I'll take it. I wanted to take one card from each of these decks, and that one, that one came out real quick. So apparently, somebody's trying to manifest, right? Somebody's trying to manifest something in. We I also want to find out what we should surrender in this situation. These cards are also pre-shuffled. Just do that one final shuffle, and let's see what we have here. All right, I'm kind of feeling over here. Ooh. All right. Here we go. So this is what I got. We got the uh, Vajraki Laya. You know, I never got this card. And I'm telling you guys, this reading right here, this specific nature read, is definitely divinely guided. And I'll tell you why. Because we had number 22, master number, and 33, master number, twice. Here it is again. All right. So somebody is trying to manifest something. What you identify with becomes who you are. So now you're somebody out there could be this individual who's having problems. You could be actually dealing with some issues that you want to let go. And it's hard for you to let go. And it's hard for you to really, you know, find your own identity, really. Because your identity was based on 
whatever it is that you are dealing with in life and not really having any, you know, care for the world and just, you know, living carefree, whatever, whatever that was, I do see here that that's not what you want anymore. And now you're trying to manifest a new life for yourself, right? Because you found out the truth. Something came to you, you found out the truth, and you are trying to manifest new and happy times in your life, right? The problem is here is you need to surrender your low self-esteem. You deserve success, love, and abundance. Send an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. So you could be in that lack mentality. You could have been uh, raised to think that all you deserve is what you get. That's all you deserve. But that's not true. Nobody is born like that. We're all born to be successful. We're all born to have abundance and love and happiness. Nobody is born and no one can tell you that, oh, for us, we only get this. No, that's not true. This is lack mentality. And you need to get yourself out of that. And you need to get yourself out of this low self-esteem. If somebody has put you in that position, maybe your esteem was high before and now it's been broken and it's low. You know, I mean, yeah, you might go through times in your life where you're feeling sad about this, but I'm telling you, you'll snap out of it. And you'll also snap out of that lack mentality if you are listening to me right now. You need to stop that, okay? Stop thinking that you can't have more than what you have, all right? Um, you can manifest more. And this card right here, it's telling you to start that manifestation now. Start planting those seeds and start nurturing those seeds and watch them grow. You know, and put that self-esteem issue behind you. It's all bullshit. It's all lies. You're a good, wonderful, kind, loving person. And, uh, you know, if you haven't been in the past, maybe you're making those changes now. And you can be that in the future, okay? All right, you guys. So that was a nature read for May 1st, 2020. Um, this is a timeless reading. Thank you so much for coming today. Um, remember, we are trying to keep it that true love energy around here, happy, friendly, and loving with nothing to fear because we are calm and cheerful around here, right? We try to keep it that way. I mean, I would love for um, everybody to be that way all the time. Even me, you know, sometimes I fall back a little bit to myself a lot, okay? Not sometimes, but that's why I'm not on here every second of the day because not... I don't want to be coming on here when I'm feeling that lack, right? That negative energy, okay? I used to think, ah, fuck energy, negative energy, don't, I don't care, I'll read anytime, but you know what? No. Yeah, it doesn't feel good to read when you're in that energy anyways. I'm just saying, you know? So, and that's for just me. Other readers might think differently. No big deal, right? All right. So, that was the end of the, today's reading. Um, nature read for May 1st, 2020. Hopefully it resonates. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share. My name is Mona, this is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.